Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can group tracks together. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are inside the Logic Pro for iPad on an iPad Pro M1. Let's click on Create Project and then on Tracks. Okay, now let's select the number of tracks that we want to create, more than one, because we are going to group them together. So, and let's click on MIDI, and I have a default patch, which is the same for uh, the three tracks. Okay, so now let's select, uh, click here to deselect uh, all the tracks. Let's select the first one, and uh, let's enable the metronome, and let's record something for each track, which is very straightforward. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Second track, let's uh, record something. Okay, perfect. Third track, let's record something as well. Okay, perfect. Now, first track, let's trim it like so. And let's select again the first track, cycle, and then we go on selection so that um, we have these in looping mode. So let's close now the play surface. Okay, and let's click play. So they're all playing together, right? So now, how do you group them? Well, select the, um, the option to have multi-selection on and activate all the different tracks, then disable the multi-selector, click to select the first track, click again, or it could have been also another track, doesn't really matter. And you have two options now. You can create a folder stack and you can create a summary stack. Let's start with a folder stack. There you are. You have a new master track, which is in this case is called sub one. You have this icon, and then if you click on this arrow, it will expand and you see below your uh, original tracks as sub tracks. Okay, so that is uh, quite straightforward. Now you can see that um, you can mute and solo and also change the volume on the master track. So let me show you. Okay, perfect. Of course, you can still um, solo or uh, mute each independent subtract. And each subtract will have, of course, an instrument like so, which you can see in the plugin um, area. Okay, now in terms of these uh, uh, master track in a folder stack, you can't do much on the area here. You can't have an instrument or, for example, a MIDI region. And if you click also on the plugin area, it will say select the track to which can host a plugin. So this one cannot do that. In terms of, of actually how to uh, move and duplicate tracks. So if you select the sub track and you duplicate that, the duplicated one is inside still the stack, as you can see, right? If you click and hold that number four and you move it down like so, now you close um, the particular stack, you find that, that you move uh, uh, that track outside, of course. If you want to move inside, click and hold and move it between the different tracks and then it is go it has gone back inside that stack. You can also click one track and move it above the master track. And again, you find it that has moved uh, outside the stack. Okay, so that's a little bit about uh, um, the folder stack. Now let's undo until we go back to have just the normal three tracks like so. Now, let's click again on the first track, and it is already selected, so you, we have the menu coming up. Select Create Summary Stack. Now, apparently it looks uh, the same, but it is not. First of all, you can still uh, close and open up uh, your stack, but this time, if you select the first track and you go to Plugin Areas, you have the ability to add, for example, an audio effect. Click on it, and then you can say Add an Echo Effect. And now click Play. Really nice. The other thing you can do also with Summit Stack, you can click on it, click again, you can create a MIDI region. Okay, so now 
Let's say that uh, I click on this track and I duplicate that track. So it is still inside the stack. As you can see, there is no region there. I'm going to mute to the first three. Now on this first region, I'm going to edit it and I'm going to select the pencil and create some notes. Doesn't really matter what, um, what, is, what is being played, but let me show you what happens. So this track, track number five, is playing what you have as a MIDI region here on the master track. Okay, and that is important. Indeed, if I was to uh, now uh, duplicate this again, just to assure that it is still inside, and now I click play. Both tracks are actually playing what, uh, um, what you have as a MIDI region on the master track. Additionally, if you go to the mixer and you expand it, you can see here the sum one track with all the different subtracks, which of course you can open and close as you prefer. Pay also attention to each of the track and the inspector. And uh, if you uh, go up to the track level, you can see the different MIDI channel and output channel. If you change the output channel for each one of those, you will have different uh, behavior. So for example, let's go to this one and let's say that the MIDI output channel is two instead of one. And let's click play. So as you can see, it's still actually playing, but let's change the um, MIDI input channel now to two. So as you can see, it has stopped playing and because it stopped receiving MIDI incoming messages from the master track. Of course, it was still playing when I changed the output channel because that those messages were still being received by the ePiano plugin on this particular track. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the short introduction on folder stack and summing stack. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.